Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, a prominent Democrat from Minnesota, deputy chair of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, and a member of the House Budget Committee recently joined an interview to shed light on the ongoing political turmoil in Washington, D.C. Amidst the chaos, the discussion centered on Speaker McCarthy's survival and the sentiments within the Democratic Party, particularly among progressives, regarding his leadership. Omar began by characterizing Speaker McCarthy in unflattering terms, describing him as a weak and pathetic man. She attributed his rise to the Speaker's position to a Faustian bargain. In essence, she argued that the progressives within the Democratic Party have no interest in saving McCarthy from the consequences of his choices, where he made deals with political forces that progressives find untenable. One of the key issues raised in the interview was McCarthy's penchant for making promises he couldn't keep, ultimately putting his speakership at risk. Omar lamented that McCarthy's leadership lacked backbone, integrity, and credibility. She implied that had he been a more trustworthy and capable leader, some Democrats might have considered supporting him to maintain stability in the House. However, the prevailing sentiment among progressives, according to Omar, is that McCarthy's chaotic approach to governance aligns with what many in his party desire. She claimed that the Republican conference wanted this level of turmoil, and McCarthy was willing to create it to secure his position as Speaker. Furthermore, Omar pointed out that McCarthy's failure to uphold agreements, particularly on funding policies, has escalated the risk of a government shutdown. She accused him of prioritizing political maneuvers, such as a sham impeachment, over the well-being of the American people. The interview also touched on the suggestion from some Democrats that they might assist McCarthy's survival through a power-sharing agreement. However, according to o. Omar, such assistance would only be possible if McCarthy agreed to a 50-50 to power-sharing arrangement, which would grant Democrats greater influence in House committees and legislative decisions. Many Democrats, she explained, are unwilling to save a speaker who they perceive as undermining women's autonomy, attempting to cut Social Security, and callously reducing vital assistance programs. In summary, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's interview conveyed several key points regarding Speaker McCarthy and the sentiments within the Democratic Party. McCarthy is criticized for his weak leadership and broken promises. Progressives view McCarthy as a weak, pathetic man who made questionable political deals. McCarthy's refusal to honor agreements has increased the risk of a government shutdown. Some Democrats would consider helping McCarthy survive if he agreed to a significant power-sharing arrangement. McCarthy is accused of prioritizing the interests of far-right caucus members over the needs of his constituents and the American people. These insights shed light on the complex dynamics within the Democratic Party and the challenges Speaker McCarthy faces in maintaining his position as Speaker of the House.